that was a wonderful, wonderful vacation. But that vacation glow would soon go away. Right up until we got back with no bag. It was what Andrea Habermeyer had feared shortly after checking in at the Lynx counter in Newfoundland. Went through security and noticed on the back of my boarding pass that the baggage ticket was, their baggage sticker was for a different airline and a different person and Hamilton, Ontario was the destination. Habermeyer says she was reassured it would arrive, but nope, the bag carried on to Hamilton and on to the address on the tag. It was delivered by taxi to their house and she opened it up and went through and found his prescriptions, called London Drugs and they called us. End of story, right? Wrong. Despite numerous calls and emails to Lynx, still no suitcase and no money. Their response was that since the bag had been returned to us by a different carrier. We were no longer able to submit a claim. And it took two weeks for me to, to get them to understand that I don't have the bag. It's still in Ontario at a stranger's house. Global News reached out to Lynx. It apologized for what it called a rare occurrence. It added it will work with the couple, but the couple isn't waiting. It's a very Canadian story. Not only did strangers find a way to contact them, a co-worker in Ontario has since picked up the bag and shipped it. Almost as much as the tickets. <laughs> it's probably going to be around $350, $400. This is just the latest airline complaint in the last couple of years. 42,000 complaints have been filed so far in 2022-23 to the CTA, up a whopping 500% in just five years. There's also a backlog of 56,700 complaints with a wait time of 18 months. Lynx has now told Andrea Habermeyer it will send her some money, but she's not sure it's enough to ever get her on board again. Tomasio Da Silva, Global News.